In the previous lecture, we created the app icon for the large size. Now in this lecture, we're going to recreate the same thing, but we're going to use it for the small size. So if you still look in the, under your assets.exe assets within your Tic Tac to Apple TV, you will see an app icon dash small. So if you open that, that's where you need to add your, uh, your icons, the front, the middle and the back. All right. So how do we do this? Um, first of all, let's take a look at the size that we need. It says here the actual size is 400 by 240. By the way, if you look at, uh, at the ratio, it's the same ratio. So what we're going to do is go back to Photoshop or any of your browsers, and we're going to save this to the right ratio. So we're going to do Command-Alt-Shift-S, and here we're going to put 400, and as you can see, it does 240 automatically, and click on Save, and I'm going to call this one Board-Small. All right, now let's remove this layer and take the lines. Command Alt Shift S and put 400 here and automatically it's um, it's a resizing and click on save. And I'm gonna put lines dash small and click on save. Now do the same thing for the last layer. Command Alt Shift S, save. I'm sorry, I forgot to change that to 400. Click on save and call this one crosses dash small and press save. All right, now let's go back to Xcode and bring the finder in front of it and locate the file that says small. So let's take the board small and put it in the back. So we're gonna drag and drop this right here. All right, so far so good. Let's do the middle, which is the lines, small. And finally, the front. So take the crosses small and drag and drop this here. All right, so now we have the three layers and let's take a look at this. And yes, there you go. It's perfect. It's exactly how we want it. All right, so now uh, look at the X here. You get, you guys see the X on top? It's moving. It's really like in 3D. Isn't that beautiful, right? Amazing, huh? That's exactly the effect that we wanted. Amazing. Now, something you have to understand is that you can feel free to add more layers, okay? So um, you can, uh, can right-click and you can add, uh, add, add images just by, by adding them right here. You know, you can also um, change and do the Apple Watch and add assets, okay? You can add image set and so on, but three layers is already more than enough. All right, so that's it for the small icon. By the way, don't forget to do a product clean. If you don't do a product clean, you might not see your changes. And then do a product build or run. And uh, once you do that, you will see it in your simulator, okay? So your you'll be able to see your new screenshot within the iPhone simulator, all right? So let me show you. Once this launches, go to Hardware and click on Home or Command-Shift-H and your icon will appear. It's right there, okay? So as you can see, the icon is right here. By the way, you can't use your mouse. You have to use the Apple TV remote to go down, all right? Remember, with the Alt key down, you can go down, all right? That's how you'll have to do it. All right, so that's it, and here it is. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture.